What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. And today, I want to analyze an early success of a student. And guys, let me tell you something. You need to be aware that when it comes to ads, you don't want to be emotionally attached to your product or to your ads. But in this case, it's kind of a bit different. You guys are going to see, he tested a product, made, I believe, six sales in the first day. And in the second day, in the second day, he didn't make any sales at all. And that's the thing that triggers people. It's like, hey, I made six sales in a single day. Like, how am I not making sales on the second day? What's going on? What's happening? And guys, this is the beauty of dropshipping if you don't know that you have gold in your hands. And probably this could be not a winning product, but it is high likely one. If you got a product that got six sales in the first day, it is high likely a winning product. But as you can see on here, let me show you the second day, no sales at all, just a bunch of add to cart. And today I'm going to tell you how can you, you know, be confident with those type of metrics and transform this product right here into a winning product. Okay, please listen to me because a lot of you guys maybe had a winner in your hands. Maybe you had one and you're not even aware of. So that's what you need to keep in mind. Okay, let's say that you're selling and I'm going to just give you an example. And based on that example, you will do it on your product. So let's say you have a product, okay? Whatever it is. Let's say it's it's a jacket. Let's say you're selling a jacket. That jacket, you're selling it for $50 and you have $30 profit after selling it. So your break-even point is $30. So as you can see, he spent on here $10 and made a purchase. He spent on here $10, made another purchase. $10, another purchase. $10, a purchase. $10, two purchases. So on the first day, he made a lot of purchases. Great. Now let's look at the second day. A lot of you guys would kill this product because now you're like, okay, those are the ones that got sales and I and I kept, I kept those ones that got sales. Okay, great. So on the second day, you'll be like, oh, it's not a winning product. The second day, I didn't make sales. But this is where you're wrong. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. You said, well, I said that you have $30 profit margin on this product. So you only need one sale every three days in order to at most be break even. So if you get another sale, let's say two days from now, you'll be profitable. And that's the thing that you need to be aware. On some products like that, when you have a small budget like that, you don't need sales every single day. You only need sales once in a while. So let's say if it gets sales every day, great. But if it gets one sale today, one sales in two day, it's still profitable. So that's what you want to keep in mind. If it gets two sales today, but no sales during two days, still profitable. And that's what you want to understand. Look at your product. The moment your product gets sales and gets something massive, like let's say six sales, look at a three to four day lapse time, depending your profit margin. So if you have a product that is $30 profit margin and you have a campaign, well, you have ad sets that are spending $10 per day, you only need one sale every three days to be break even. Now let's say that your product is $50, okay? $50 in profit. So you sell it and let's say you don't like you don't have ad cost, it's $50 profit after paying the supplier, after all the fees, $50. Well, you only need one sale every five days, five days in order to be break even at least. So if you get one extra sale on those five days, like two sales on five days, that's not a lot. You're basically making profit. And that's what you need to understand. A lot of you guys... You see those metrics and they're like, oh, second day, not good, move on. And it doesn't need to be like that. We have products that make one sell every three days, highly profitable. We have product that makes one sell every day, highly profitable. 
we may we have product that literally make five, 10 sales every day, highly profitable. But that's the thing. And we have product that don't make sales every day. We have product that makes sales one every four or five days, still highly profitable. And that's what you want to keep in mind. When you have something like this and you're like, okay, I have a product that makes a lot of sales, but the second day looks not good. No worries. You still have some indication. Look at this. There's add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. So their purchase intent, maybe today it wasn't a good day. Maybe it was a bad day. And that happens to anyone. A bad day, it's a normal day. So you need to look in a period of three days. So do the rule that I just told you with your profit margin. So if you have, let's say, $25, you divide it by uh, the amount spent per per ad set, and that's how long it should uh, run in order to get a sale. If not, then it's not a good product. So guys, please, I know that a lot of you are, you know, are good with product research, but you're just not good to read your metrics. And that's the thing. Maybe you're good with product research. Maybe you find great products and you're like, all those people are making money and I'm not. It's just because you don't know how to read your data. And data is king. Data is king. So make sure that you take the time to not get emotionally attached, look at everything, analyze everything, and give you time. Look, let me let me tell you a little bit about this student. This student, when he started, he wasn't able to make a single sale, a single sale out of a product. He was making maybe zero sale, one sale, nothing crazy. He find he was able after testing a few product he was able to find you know some sort of a niche that he's able to find good products in, and that's the thing that people don't understand. The first thing is you need to have a great strategy, and after that you have a great strategy is is understanding what you're good at. You know, let let me give you an example. Me, I'm really good with phones, covers, gadgets, uh, home decor. My brothers extremely good with clothing we have strong and we have we have well we have strongness well like we're strong on certain things and on other things we're not good the moment you find what you're good at and you have a great strategy and you are not emotionally attached to what you're doing you're going to kill it you're going to kill it it's just a matter of time so please for the love of god you need to understand that behind Every product that you launch, there's a strategy. There's an an analyzation that you need to do. And if you're not doing it, then you're set to failure. Even if you test 500 products, you will be set to failure. Because maybe on those 500, you have a ton of winning products that you just missed out. Missed out. Because you were not able to control the emotions. You were not able to, you know, analyze everything uh, step by step. And uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. So yeah, guys, and as you can see, like I said, you know, I, I tell you, he made six sales on the first day. Look at the CPC, incredible CPC, most of them below $1. Look at the CTR, most of them below one uh, above 1%. Everything is doing amazing. Everything. Everything is doing amazing. So that's what you want to keep in mind. What you want to do, is you want to analyze properly your product. Let it run if it's making you sales. Don't rely on one bad day to kill or to do whatever. And same thing that I would tell you. Look, you have six sales, but most of them got one sale. So what does that mean? Basically, it basically means that this one could still not be a winner. So even though I got six sales, I will not try to scale this product because... It's, it's not showing me multiple sales. It could be lucky sales, but this one showed me too. This one, you know, I would probably try to scale it, but those ones, I will let it run. So there's time to test that product, to let it run, and there's time to scale it. And that's what you need to understand. It is extremely important that you learn how to run ads, that you learn how to read those metrics, because if not, you guys are going to fail miserably. And that's not what I want. We have created this 
YouTube channel to have, you know, conversation and, you know, uh, to have fun with a lot of you guys that have the same interests as us. Because let's be honest, dropshipping is a lonely world. But at the end of the day, you need to do the right thing. You need, you know, to listen to what we say and do little by little. So, hey, guys, this is the video of today. Wish you all an amazing rest of your day and see you on the next video. Peace out.